Why do we have like 18 bits in front of us today? Look at this. They're coming in. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. We got bits. I got a couple more over here if you like them. Are you what? kidding? No. What What's going on? I, I know this. I know. You don't even have to tell me. There's something up. What is it? Something's afoot. Something's Try. afoot. Troy may have been in the lab. There's there's eight bits in front of us. Why? Because Troy asked me to increase. I mean, we're great and all, but we're not that great where you could come up with eight <laughs> bits like that. You guys are like Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> Oh, I think the show is good enough to come up with bits instantly. Oh. You no. want a bit? We come up with it. You want a bit real quick? Go ahead. Hey, let's just do the, uh, hey, this is the paper uh, crinkling routine. Guess what paper this is? Taking your calls. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even crinkle it. Uh, <laughs> I, I hit the mic with it. I'm going to bet that the real story is way better. <laughs> well, I, I mean, first the production We've guy. been around way too long to know that there's, there's a reason why we have eight bits in front of us. This doesn't just come... You know, appear out of the blue. Out of the fucking blue. Why do we have eight bits in front of us? Yeah. Troy's the production guy. Is he here? Oh, yeah, he's here. I saw him walk in. He'll tell me. I, he, yesterday he said, I want to kill it. No, no, no. No one kills it right before the holiday. That's what he said. He said Hopefully, he wants to go Troy, ham. this fucking worm over here will not give me the real answer. So why do I have eight bits in front of me? Just on fire right now. No, no. <laughs> no, something's up, you I asshole. told you, dude. We're on fire right now as a team. I wish literally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're killing it. No, something's up. What's up, Troy? No, we're just, we're going, we're going ham. You're another guy that keeps it real, so let's go. What's the real deal here? Hopey, the truth is we're going ham in this motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, man? Good for you, dude. Yeah. We just want to end the year strong. I mean, and I got probably about like uh, seven more on tap right now that I'm going to try to pound out today. My pen was on fire Crazy. yesterday. Troy's fingers were all over the Pro Tools going crazy. What were you told? Nothing. No, it's all good, I've been man. I've this a long time. What were you told? There's no way all of a sudden you guys come up with eight bits in one day. Something changed <laughs> yesterday. What were you told? Why do we have to be told anything, man? We're just trying to end 2012 with a bang. What right. were you told? All right, I'll give you what you need. <laughs> <laughs> what were you told? Oh, that kind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm well, not quite that. Yeah. Yeah, Oops. we're just we're just on fire, man. That's what it is. We're Why just... are you guys scared? Something changed. No, we're not yesterday. scared. We're just we're just excited to be. Uh, There's just... a Louis C.K. boating story. Oh, that's a There's good one. There's a uh, visual jokes on the radio bit. There's an Elmo joke. bit. There's a fucking San Francisco band's public nudity bit. A lot of repurposing, it seems. Wow. And there was another bit. The uh, I had a Black Keys bit, too, that I don't think the you played Keys it. The Black Keys bit yeah, is over there. Yeah. And then you got another seven, you're saying. It, and some of them are taking a turn for the bizarre, but still, we're just pumping them out. Yeah. Like, we're getting a little weird with a few of them, but it's, you know, we're, we're getting them done quick is the thing. The turnaround time is ridiculous. You know, there's. Our, remember your conversation about fishes yesterday? Not, a, not at all. No. Well, there you will because there's something in the works. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Why don't we just remember, replay the show? Why are you guys doing bits? Remember like Jim's that? thing about the hostess cakes? Yeah. Na- there's something in the works. Oh, where he made up the treats? Oh yeah, there's something in the works. Oh, nice. Yeah. And well, that's killer, right? Uh, but why? Fuck yeah, dude. Good. Why all of a sudden? No, it's just we just want to shoot some fireballs. At you guys uh, <laughs> before the end of the year, you know, <laughs> we're feeling good. Like, why? Why does it always have to be something, Opie? Why can't uh, it just be it's like serious hey, XM satellite radio? Yeah. It's positivity. It's got to be something. We're trying, to, we're trying to be positive. We're trying to end the year with a bang. I will. I will bet money that mm-hmm. you guys were told something stupid. What? What? Did you guys? Did either of you guys meet with uh, or talk to either Gary, Rob, or Steve yesterday? Well, yeah, we had a meeting. Oh, oh, you did have a meeting. So, yeah, but nothing, nothing was said in that meeting. Something I mean, was said, though, that is making you come up with all these bits. Well, for the record, we've been going ham for about a week and a half. So it wasn't just yesterday. It's just now it's really it's starting to culminate now, and we're going to be a house on what fire. What lie did they tell you? Come on. Well, like, then we can it, move on with the show. What lie did they tell you But why does time? it always have to be a lie or anything <laughs> like that? Why can't it just be like, hey, you know, we're just... Past performance? Oh. Yeah, past performance. Well, Not your performance. I'm just saying their performance. Their past performance has has dictated that there's a lot of lies in this Dick. place. I just don't understand why it has to be a problem that we would just want to end the year strong and with a bang. You know, and, and it's like we're talking about all these bits. When are we going to play some of these motherfuckers? You know what I mean? Oh man, well, what are you guys scared of? Why can't you tell me the truth? Huh? What? What? Troy, we man, you keep it you real. I am keeping Fuck it real. This worm over here. <laughs> Fucking, it's me and you, brother. What's going on? Tell me what happened. You know, just knowledge. just trying to just trying to end it positive. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you hear those Roland and E Rock intros? I'm telling you, we've been on fire. Yeah, I'm actually proud, I'm proud of those. This turned out good, right? Yeah, they were very good. And then uh, someone we said you week- guys don't do enough production. Is that it? Well, I mean, you know, you could always amp it up. 
You know what I mean? That's so. Uh, you, were you told, what is it suggested that you amp up production? Well, it's always been suggested. It's always been suggested that we deliver as much volume as we can. Was, so. it, was it suggested that you amp it up and then not discuss the fact that it was uh, said on the air? Well, you know, management really doesn't like anything discussed on the air. So, yeah. so it's like you know, it's fine. It's oh, anyway. why is everyone looking around? This is where it gets uncomfortable. No. I'm, I'm, that, look at me. I'm fucking great. Yeah. Those guys need to know that'll never change. We will always talk about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's part of the gig. Yeah. To the last day we broadcast this show, we'll always do that. That'll never change. Right. Well, I mean, just plan on a lot of good production coming your way. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's all I really have to say right now. So. Let's plan bits. on it. All right. Let's plan on it. I will get to the bottom of this. You guys will be able to do less radio for the rest of the year. All I want to know is, were you promised anything to do this? That's where my suspicion is. No. It's going to be looked at positively, I would think. I would think it would be. Yeah. I think that it would be looked at as a positive thing that we I'm thinking... were delivering uh, a lot of production to you. I'm, I'm thinking there might be something in it for you boys if you work even harder. Well, I mean, is they that the lie they're telling well, you this I time? Well, I mean, you know that there's never any promises made. I <laughs> no. mean, you know that. I mean, that's, that's you know, no, we're not going to get mm. to that. It's not like a direct sort of, if you do this, then you will get that type of thing. That's, that's, that's that not the way it works. No, that's not the way it works. So, But, but it's like, if we come to a conclusion that, you know what, if we got to kill it, we got to kill it, and then results will show, mm. then that's what we're going to do. Yeah, and our goal is really to just have maybe even towards the end of the year just a show where you guys don't even talk. You can just play all of our bits, and brand in? new bits. Yeah, no, nah. you don't have, we'll play the bits Stay if home. you want. It'll be a live show, but it'll be all bits. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, uh, we're not going to get the answer now, but I will get the answer. Yeah, someone I always get the answer. Well, I don't know why. He... I don't know why Troy's not keeping it real this time. He's keeping. I, it I real. always keep it real, man. Real. I'm giving you fireballs. That's you, what I'm doing, like Stanley. Stanley right. T keeps it real, is and it I thought real? Troy kept, kept it real, but I guess not. But why not just sit there and be like, oh, this is great. I got all these bits. Because there's something going on. It's so <sighs> it's so obvious. Yeah, there is something going on. This uh, place is a house on fire right now. And oh, I, boy. I, I kind of feel like, honestly, I'm just wasting my time in the studio here talking to you guys when I could be doing production bits right now. More so. bits. Unless we make a bit out of this. We could. Someone said that you need to be on fire. Someone said, who used the term on fire in management recently? No, no nobody. No, no, they, don't, no, they, don't, they don't use those. They're sometimes. not hip. No. No. No, no, no. What are you laughing <laughs> Why is Troy laughing, see? <laughs> because Sam You're... makes all these dumb faces and I can't. Oh, yeah. That's just talking? his face. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go get back to work, guys. Do you believe the lies they're telling you? I mean, there's I've been, some, here, I've been a here a long time that I don't believe anything. So, <laughs> All right, all right. See, now we're getting to it. See, you just broke down a little bit. So you were no, told something. No, 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 no. I mean, I've been told a lot of things in the seven years I've been here. Well, how, about, how about yesterday at the meeting? Uh, I think the quote was, let's make this as fast as we can so we can get out of here. So, <laughs> yeah, what I said. Who so. said that? Uh, management. Okay. Well, so they, they were, they were just, they had well, a lot of stuff on going their on. Part. Yeah, yeah, no, they had a lot of stuff going on. What, what's all, what's the so lot of we. stuff they have going on? Well, they run like 50, 60 music channels. Those channels are a waste of time. Well, I, I, mean, like, in, I like some channels. of them in the bathroom. Huh? Yeah. I like 80s on 8 in the bathroom. It's yeah. kind of nice but you, hearing Jesse's girl when you're taking a piss. Exactly. Oh, mm. I thought you meant the ages. <laughs> the genre is the genre. It's the easiest <laughs> shit to do in radio. <laughs> if, if, and I say if, satellite radio is going to survive, it's, it's going to be shows like ours. Right. That stand out. Not dumb music channels. No one gives a fuck about music channels anymore. They really don't. It's because they don't have bits. Oh, forget yeah. it. You guys are fucking wimps. Yeah. I mean, it's just... What? Wimps? I don't know why we have to be wimps, wimps just because we're delivering... Something was, something was told to you. It's amazing, the attitude on this show, that, like, we start delivering content and we get called wimps for it. It's like, mm. I thought we were doing something positive, something you guys would like. Very suspicious. You know, you don't want bits? Usually there's a bit comes in every day, every other day. There's five or six in front of me <laughs> and another seven in his studio. You don't want And em? I'm not supposed to question that. You don't want them? That means something has changed. All That's right. all. Well, we'll Is just... that what you're saying? You don't want them, though? We'll keep them for ourselves. I want to play just... all of them. Okay. okay. All right. Well, all right. then Cool. Fair enough. Which one do you want to play first? I say visual jokes on the radio. Really? Is yeah. that your strongest one? I like it. That's your opener? I don't know if that's the strongest one, but that's it's a good one. It's good. Yeah. All right. One of many, many bits that were handed in today. In conjunction with some old porno magazine, this is a visual joke on the radio. I remember a, a, a joke, comic little picture I saw, and, and it was a woman. She's laying in bed, and she got a giant fishtail 
hanging out of her pussy, and the husband's coming in, and he's like got his dick hanging out, and she, the bubble over her head said, "Not tonight, dear. I have a haddock." <laughs> <laughs> In conjunction with some old porno magazine, that See? Was made you laugh. That's good, right? On the radio. Yeah. What? <laughs> it's a good fucking line. It's yeah, a good well, radio, but right. it didn't need its own bit. No, see that what? Anthony delivered. Why did that need its own? Bits? I'll tell you why. I'm going to oh. tell you why. All Anthony right. delivered a fucking great line as he always does. Oh, yeah. And then so. instead of that line just being lost in that day's show, yeah. We're, repurposed. we're repurposing, and that it will live forever. What do these guys have to do? Besides... Live forever. Somebody said live forever. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just giving you. Did. No. You yeah, don't yeah, like they visual did. jokes on the radio? We got two more. Like, literally, Wait, so you right guys there. had a meeting, but they were too busy, so they couldn't do the meeting with you guys? No, because... we did the meeting. Yeah. Everything was fine. It was a, just a normal meeting. It wasn't anything. Nothing really was said. It was just. Uh... They, they could focus 2% on music channels and 98% on this channel. Well, that's not going to happen. Of course not. But. I got two more visual jokes on the radio. He, I thought we just do visual jokes on the what, radio. Are we adding that to the pile? Yeah, I thought we were going to do like a series. Because mm -hmm. it was like instead of doing one bit with the three visual I jokes. I them to the pile now. We'll do three bits. Okay. Now I got, I played one. I got six, <clears throat> oh, six more here. And then you got another seven in, in the. In the works right now. In the works? Yeah. You want to continue with the visual jokes on the radio thing? Yeah. I mean, that got a good laugh, so let's keep going with it. Yeah. All right. Fair enough, sir. In conjunction with some old porno magazine, this is a visual joke on the radio. I remember a cartoon. I think I've said this one before, the, the one where Superman's sitting in a chair, and he's fucking looking up, and there's a girl kneeling in front of him, and her head is in the ceiling with cum dripping out of her mouth. <laughs> blew her head off. In conjunction with some like old that. porno magazine, that was a visual joke on the radio. Even though I have to correct the boys on both counts, yeah, those aren't necessarily visual jokes on the radio. No, they're they're, they're really jokes. Not. Yeah, those are jokes that translate through through auditory means. Yes. A visual joke on the radio would be like I'm, I'm talking and uh, you know I'm looking over here at the uh, fucking at uh, Satch from the Bowery Boys and because uh, I then be like why would you say that? And yeah, like, yeah. Oh, because Anthony has a hat on that's a baseball cap. A visual yeah, yeah. joke on the radio would be describing something that's lost in translation. So you go like this, like, like, watch, everybody, all this, listeners, watch. I got your nose. <laughs> 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 well, we can always revise them, and then we could give you... Yeah, because yeah, yeah, a visual yeah. joke, that, that's you why that was explained You might not want to call it a visual well. joke on the radio. Should we redo, yeah. we'll do, redo the three? Because his punchlines are still strong. Maybe they, like They're uh, great lines, of course. <laughs> they're they're, they're standalone bits. What about this? Let's yeah, brainstorm right now in the air. How I, about we just go, wow, this was a great line on the show yesterday. Bam. No, how about this? Why does it have to be all fucking In conjunction produced? with some Who's old... telling you to produce all this shit? What's going on? Well, I like the visual jokes on the radio thing. I just thought there be, should be better right. examples because we do that a lot. But I, however, I did like the production around it. How about in conjunction with some old porno magazine, this is a comic strip joke on the radio. Mm hmm I guess. No. Something like that. Okay. So I'll revise that'll these. satisfy whatever the fuck th they told you, sure. Conjunction, no, revise. You. These are words that these dummies don't use often. No. It's for you. Why are you guys so scared? I'm not scared. I'm I've looking never at been I'm fucking, scared in my you, life. You do realize great. you guys will both have very, very long careers, and, and th there'll be a distant memory eventually. I got a million guys like those in my fucking career. Yeah. Stop being scared. I, I'm not scared. What I'm do they not. tell you? I've never been less scared in my life. What do they tell you? I'm all bits all the time. What do they promise you? No promises There's, uh, were made. Never, 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 never been promises. A raise? No, fuck. A promotion? No, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. They don't, they don't ever promise anything like that. <laughs> In conjunction with some old porno magazine, this is a visual joke on the radio. I remember a cartoon, there were two hunters in the woods, and they were looking at a bear trap with just two bloody testicles hanging in it, and the caption was, somewhere out there is one mean fucking bear. That was a visual joke on the radio. Once again, Jim killed it, took it, a little piece of audio. I like the and music just... and all, but and the intro and the outro, but it doesn't, you know, these guys are right. Okay, well, we'll, we'll revise visual it. jokes. We'll revise it. Yeah. Because uh, you had to describe something, so I figure... Because it wouldn't have been a joke if you had just said what it said. You had to describe the bear and all that. So that that's the visual part. Look at this basket. It looks like Erox lunch. 
See? Uh, visual vision. joke on the radio. Yes. Mark that. We didn't Mark know there that. was a cow in the studio. <laughs> 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 Looks like it's lunch. Yeah, we could certainly do <laughs> visual jokes on the radio for you, now that we know it's a concept. Could you? Yes, we and can. Luckily, we, I think we probably have like two or three more bits just out of this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so. Thank Every you conversation gets bits. Take it. Someone... Said something like that to them. No, why does it always be like that, Jim? I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm just saying somebody gave you some good darn toot and good advice. Oh, okay. What was said in the meeting yesterday? Anything of value? Who was in the meeting? The just... meeting was the staff and then Gary and Rob. Like this, but those know. guys can't get anything done. No, no, they're fucking. Mm. They're bean counters. What? Are, why are they telling you what to do? They're just advising, I guess. They're just. They want to make the show as best they can. <clears throat> when are they going to start? <laughs> You want another bit? I like the Louis C.K. bit. Yeah, play, sure. I like a, I like the bit. Which one's next? Which one's this? The boat bit. This is a good one. This is a little long, but it's good. You'll appreciate it. You like this. A little long, but good. Yeah. Ahoy, mateys! <laughs> Time to launch back onto the seven seas with your favorite aqua adventurer, Captain Louis! I, it was my first day in the boat. I just bought it, but it's a big fucking boat with two engines, and it's really complicated to drive. I took Chris Rock and my manager out on it. We went out to the Statue of Liberty, and there was this thing floating in the water. Chris saw it. I said, what is that? And it was this big thing, and it, it was dark. It was night. It was like 1 in the morning. So it looked like, you know, like a big round raft? That's what it looked like to me. And I yelled over, hey, is anyone in that boat? And then we noticed that it was coming towards us, like kind of with some speed. And Chris goes, get the fuck away from that thing like it was creepy so i backed away from it and i put a light on it and it was it was like it looked like a giant manhole cover sticking out of the river this was the weirdest night fucking ever and it's right by the statue of liberty and it's like i don't know 20 feet across and it's moving it's leaving awake so i call up and then this woman came on and says new york harbor coast guard give me your phone number so i give her my number this guy calls he goes describe it as well as you can i go i don't want to cause a problem but it looks like the hatch of a submarine and it's headed towards Lower Manhattan. That's what I'm seeing, and I'm sure it's not that, but my main concern is it's not lit, and it could cream anything that hits, it's going down. And the guy goes, all right, well, I'll call a boat and send them to you. So he hangs up, and like 20 minutes later, there's nobody there. So anyway, I call back, and they're not sending anybody, and I, and I, at one point, I got crazy, and I was like, you are the Coast Guard, and I am saying to you now, there's a submarine attacking Lower Manhattan. I'm saying it. And they're like, yeah, we're trying to get part police over here. I'm like, send a fucking helicopter. And he kept asking me to hover. We kept hovering around it and stuff, and then finally this big police boat comes and shines like a massive light on it and then he calls me on the radio hey captain are you the one who uh reported this and i go yeah and he goes it's a mooring ball it's been there since 1965 <laughs> mooring balls are so you don't have to throw it anchored down you just hang hook up to it and i go what if you don't see it and the guy goes well most people navigating those waters know what the fuck they're doing i have no business being on the water and i would have hit it if i hadn't stopped at the statue of liberty to show it off to chris and them <laughs> Maybe not quite the adventure you are looking for. Well, shiver me timbers and all that bullshit. Ah, pig leg! This fucking parrot just took a shit on me! God damn it! It's a good story. Yeah. It's a funny bit. Um, a lot of laughs in there. Funny bit. I don't believe you guys did these. Did you do these? That bit? Of course. Okay. Yes, I, okay. I thought maybe somebody else did the audio wrap around. Like Sal, Manny. <laughs> Who did it? Or Rob. Who did the the voiceover? Yeah, or wrote the bit. Ah, uh, the bit was written by. Oh no, those guys don't do anything creatively. Which yeah, yeah, we, we wrote. They the have bit. no fucking. Okay. And don't... the voice was Mitch Todd, who's yeah. one of our voice. Yeah, they don't guy. have a creative bone in their bodies. Those guys. Who wrote They're the bean material? Counters. Well, we Louis did. Louis did it from the show, but no, the, no, no, the, the rap, rap round. I did. And and who decided to put all the uh, sound effects? I did. What motivated you to go back and put splashing sounds <laughs> <What? It's a laughs> boat. while Louis is talking? It's a boat, because he's sitting in the boat. I made, understand that. It made it more visual. It's not a bit. I didn't, I didn't mind the sound effects. It's not a bit if it's just a story. It's a repurposed... Uh, I think it was just spicing up the audio a little bit, not really, you know... Spice. Taking anything away from it. Yeah. Cool. Just adding a little flavor. You didn't, you didn't think so? No, I was just wondering why they don't do, they don't do it to songs. <laughs> do what songs? You don't go back over a fucking GNR song 
Welcome to the jungle and putting like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. they, that would be because they have the music to, to <laughs> decorate what they're saying. That's the bit I want now. I want you to repurpose Welcome to the Jungle for the radio show. <laughs> okay. You got it. Yeah, we can do so that. So now we got like four bits. From repurpose the, the Welcome to the Jungle song. Okay. We got fun and games. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Yeah, you know what you're yeah. doing. You yeah. got it. You know your way around a production studio. You got it. Repurpose Welcome to the Jungle. Because Jimmy's trying to make a point that I, I think comedians don't want their shit, like, uh, fucked with, right? Yeah, I mean, that's not terrible. The little water sound, the dingy. I kind of like it. It made it a little more visual. Oh, but I understand You just understand can't really point. just play, like, I don't know. I don't think you just play. That was kind of a best of bit right there. I didn't see much of a bit to it. It was like, because the, the wraparound thing didn't really enhance Louis' story at all. It introduced a new character, though. It, Really? Right. That R guy. <laughs> R. He's a pirate. He sounded a lot like SpongeBob and SquarePants. That's where I got the inspiration R. from. Oh. Yes. Yeah. The guy who does the intro for SpongeBob. That's right. That's what I was thinking of. I'm all in with the SpongeBob these days. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Are you ready? Arr. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh, how do you know this? I watch SpongeBob. Why? SpongeBob I is. Uh, I don't regularly. There's some adult humor in the SpongeBob. Oh, yeah? Sure. Squidward. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. You don't know SpongeBob SquarePants at all? I know of SpongeBob SquarePants. If you enjoy a good cartoon, that's one uh, you should check out. Uh, you don't need don't kids know. to watch that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's not that bad. That one's not that bad. It's Caillou that's a fucking motherfucker. I don't know Caillou. Caillou stinks. What's that? He didn't want to know. It's, I think he has cancer. I'm not really sure. What? He's is that the song of the being Caillou? Yeah, I've heard that. I don't know. I think it's a Canadian cartoon. I'm not really What's sure. It called? But the kid has no hair and I, this thing, and he's a whiny little fuck. Oh, yeah. I don't like Charlie Brown knockoff. Most parents, bless you. Most parents, especially fathers, <laughs> don't want their kids watching the Caillou because he's a bit whiny and wimpy. Yeah, it's the Anthony Cumia uh, cartoon. That. Jesus Christ. He just whines through the whole fucking thing. Most most parents do not like this fucking... Cool. But the kids, for some reason, like this. Yeah, the song is bad. It's not the opening song. It's not the opening song. God. You're getting to be a big boy. Oh, shit. This is terrific. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy. <laughs> no, 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 not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, yeah, look at me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, there's, there's your Caillou. Yeah, I've had that fucking thing uh, in your house uh, pop You've... on when uh, some of the kids are over. Yeah, yeah, they love it, but man, it's the kid's just a wimpy fucking kid. Oh, yeah. You want to play another bit? Sure, these are terrific. If you like songs, can I recommend one? Sure. Uh, do you have the Black Keys bit? No. Stone Fernie. Uh, what happened to that? I don't know. Oh, shit. That's a good one, though. Because I had you singing to the Black Keys. I don't, I don't really sing. No, I know. You repurposed me into singing? Yeah. It's not bad, though. It's not. It's nothing bad. Don't worry. I saw it here a few days ago. I don't oh. know where it is. I think Sal's getting it. Sal's getting it. In the meantime, we can play another one of the many bits that are in front of me. What are the bits? Elmo accuser number two is a, is a bit... No, I think those are just news things that Danny oh. pulled. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're, we might be done with the bits for now. Well, we got that Black Keys song that Sal's going to get. We're kind of killing it right now. Yeah, I think we're just on fire. Oh, good. <laughs> you haven't seen Robin for Thanksgiving? You weirdo. Sea Robin. <laughs> Some stuffed Sea Robin. Yeah. You can have Sea Robin soup. I love a wing. <laughs> yeah. What are you, a bird brain? Ah, good one, Chippa. I know. Stop All trying right. to tell me Sea Robin is a tasty. compliment. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to try Sea Robin? Oof. Don't want to. 
Why? Because uh, I hear it's terrible. That's what I've always heard, but a bunch of people saying it's delicious. Like fish jerky. I must admit, I can't explain any of these thoughts racing through my brain. It's true. Well, baby, I'm howling for you. Howling. 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 Oh, howling. Well, baby, I'm howling for you. <clears throat> what happened? You what didn't was like that? that? You like that one? It's all right. Okay. I didn't really like it. <laughs> uh, just, when you're, <laughs> you're, you're uh, you got some quantity going on. Troy Maybe quantity. That. I, Troy nickname. quantity. I'll be honest. I I chose uh, days ago not to play that one. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, Travis said you turned it over. That's why Sal had to go and get it. Yeah, there's a thing that happens is that we turn over shit that we don't want to play or, or do. But then you brought it to everyone's attention, so it was like, oh, fuck, now we're going to play it. Good for you, Troy. I'm sorry. I was I was trying to save your feelings. No, I don't. I, believe me. Not everything I do you're going to like, so I'm, I'm, I'm completely aware of that. Hmm. I'm just trying to give you as much as I possibly can, and then you decide what you like and want to present to the audience. Thanksgiving's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to get out of here today. Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thanksgiving. Why won't you tell me what happened yesterday? Well, why does something have to happen yesterday? Well, it, well, when did it happen this week? I can guarantee you nothing happened yesterday. Okay, what day? Oh, so that means something did happen. Very good. Thank you, Sam. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> That's good. Let's say earlier of the week, Monday or Tuesday. Nothing happened this week at all. Oh, see, but you had a meeting last week or so. Obviously, yeah. something happened. If we bring it up on the show, it, it probably will hurt you guys in the long run. Well, that's I what mean, I would that's, that's never stopped you guys before. So, <laughs> Well, that's no. why we're prying. If, you're ask, if we're asking on the air, you have to answer it. Well, I mean, we could always answer everything you say, which is fine. Sure. Don't offer it up. But, um, you know... You guys aren't really there then to defend us later on when we get a, a lambasting. Were you told to work harder? Well, I think it's it's always asked of the staff and any, anybody really in this building to always work harder. But so, I think you guys work hard. So why why are they you. telling you to work harder? I mean, I don't know why they, it always has to be them saying. So I think we oh, just want to end know. you know the year with the bang. So oh. who right? said end the year with the bang? Nobody. Did somebody say that in management? No. 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 Sam? Nobody said it to me. See, they got to Sam. No, they haven't gotten to me. Show because... me the fucking scar in your skull where they got you. Oh. Because they gave you the operation, obviously. Because this nope. isn't the same Sam. Cut out his brain, you bloody baboons. Because nobody said anything to me, and I don't want to tell somebody else's story. Nobody's gotten to me, but it wasn't no, said. No, they got to you. It wasn't said to me. They got to. Who was it said to? You think it was. Have you heard it was said We're to somebody else? We're breaking down Sam. I got him. We, we, know what we need to do, Ant. You got to take one of these guys. I take one of these guys, and we got to go into separate rooms. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No breakdown. Here's the scenario. First 48 uh, yes. interrogation. Here's the scenario. Some All Last right. week, All right. Troy came to me yeah. as the production designer of the show and said, Sam. I love you. I love you very much. Well, exactly. Physically. Yeah. Those Doc <laughs> Martens made me feel differently. <laughs> Look at my turgid penis in yeah. my pants. Yes. He said... That he wanted to start killing it and end the year with a bang, and he needed my help to do so. And so I decided to help my friend end the year with a bang. And honestly, Sam is a very talented writer. He's able to at times pull off uh, a fucking Emmy speech. Exactly. <laughs> I'd like to thank Sam. <laughs> but that's my part of it. Nobody's gotten to me, and there's no conversation that I had that I'm not telling you about. I'm helping my friend. But you may be aware of another conversation. I could be aware of lots of things, but it's just not my place to tell. But it is if you're asked. It is fair. On the air. So who was told this thing? From well, your I mean, There's a, you know, nobody else came to me and said, hey, Sam, let's kill it. But Troy came to you. Sure. And you, you're guessing, if you had to guess, would you and guess that someone got to I Troy? I think somebody, some, some conversation probably. Troy, you were told something? Motivated, Troy. What the fuck were you told? I I mean, I've been told a lot of things. But you work hard, so what the fuck did they tell you? Well, you know, it's just. At a just certain like, time of year. We're just too. like calling out the bullshit, because we've heard a lot of the crap they tell you guys. Uh, certainly, they've told us over the years. Mm. And none of it is none of it comes true. Yeah. Um. Well, you know. I love, you know, I just want to end, I want to end the year strong, so. 
It's obvious if he t- it'll blow up his spot. Forget it. Well, well, I don't think it will. It can blow up his spot if we are asking on the air. And, and, and Troy and I, I think, also don't want anyone to think that our efforts <laughs> in kind of ending the year with a bang are mocking. You know what I mean? No, no I don't of course want anybody not. to think they're illegitimate. But again, what they think is irrelevant because we're asking you on the air. So Yeah, oh. but you guys don't sign any checks, so it's not quite irrelevant. What no, they, it, I, it, it I, is, I, but you know, it, it's like you guys no, if you guys won't hang with us in the meeting then when we have to get blasted about stuff. No, so. but we, we'll talk to them after the meeting if they blast you or the next day. But I don't know if that even really does anything. Sure it does because we talk about it on the air and they hate that. Wait, so you get blasted? I mean, there's been times that... By who? I mean, I, I think you know the answer to those questions. Gary and Rob? Well, if I it's mean, blotter, that's one thing. But Gary and Rob, are just they're just nonsense. They're bean counters. So, those I mean, are our beans they're counting, though. Yeah, so. they, they, <laughs> those, those are our bosses, though. That, those, that's who we have to report to. A, there's, they're, they can't do anything for your careers, and B, they're empty threats. They well, stink. I mean, I think uh, that to some degree, but I also think that... Um, you know that they no. they help move things forward. If if you no, they don't play by their a uh, little bit of a uh, you know no, they don't because you just can't. I mean, I guess you you guys understand that you just can't just be like fuck you to everybody and then think that Why? anything good's gonna happen. We made our careers <laughs> off. Yeah, that. but you guys are different. Out of fuck you. Why you are we different? different? Why? Because you guys We're in your spot. <clears throat> be, I'll tell you why. Because We're you, not... you, I'll tell you why. You guys are talent. And you guys are in a in a league right. that is just sort of untouchable. But we were the fuck you guys when we weren't in in this league. But radio was also a different time. <laughs> Mr. Fuck you, man. It was also a different time in radio. Yeah, radio was different. But we're not even saying to fuck say you fuck you. We don't want you to say <laughs> fuck you. No one's saying to say that. Like, I, think don't... You, I think you guys got to kind of call them out on their bullshit. Because at this point, it's all bullshit. Yeah. Everything those two guys especially tell you never come true. Never. It might lead to a meeting with Bladder, but then Bladder still has to go to Greenstein. Greenstein doesn't even know you guys are alive. No, oh. I know that. That's that's the problem. So that's why these, we have to... So when those two guys tell you anything, it means nothing. Because Greenstein has no clue about it. So you've got to get a little more anti-Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> Around the hallways. No. Yeah. Okay. But you're not saying fuck you if we're just asking you questions. I understand not wanting to say fuck you to your bosses. Because you can't afford to do that. But if we're asking you a legit question on the air, it's it's a fair... There's a phone, um, uh, you know, and then we can finally move on. There's a phoniness with the whole thing. Like, uh, Gary and Rob, I'll just say it. They can't do anything for you guys. They tell you the mm. bullshit, 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 bullshit. And then it's up to Bladder. And then Bladder can't even do it. He has to go to Greenstein. Well, I So mean, when these guys are bullshit, bullshit, bullshit in your face, you got to understand that it means nothing. I'm a little bit shocked that this is how our work is being responded to. But yeah, especially because we're trying to give you, you know... But that's the truth. Well, I mean, they look, think they got some kind of power. They don't. You, they don't you, have any. You are allowed to say that. I am not. I understand. So, so I'm saying it on your behalf. I'm just trying to be as good of a serious XM employee as I can, and deliver to the Opie and Anthony show uh, quality and quantity. I mean, volume is definitely important. Um, so, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the amount of material that. We, we give you guys is definitely important, and it's looked at it. Uh, Who suggested to you recently that you weren't producing enough material? Um, well, I mean, like I said, it's always something where we could always be giving more. And even if you were, even if we had been producing around the clock, it's, it's like still oral. like they never, right. they don't really ever we'll hand out given more. compliments. So someone yeah. said, uh, "Let's end this year with a bang." Someone said that that term to you. Uh, maybe last week. Let's put out some more stuff. Let's end this year with a Oswald. bang. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just wondering who used that expression. No, that, nobody has used that expression. That's that's a, a Troy expression. You're in a tough spot right now, huh? No, I'm cool, man. Everything's good. I am just can't wait to get back in the lab and crank get, out some more shit. Get more shit? All right. Fair enough. We got nothing done. No, we got a lot done. You got, you got a bunch of good bits. You guys talk uh, LA Kings and Knicks a lot? <laughs> yeah, we love sports. Yeah, we're big sports guys. I, I don't remember ever hearing uh, Sam really <laughs> discussing the Knicks. Carmelo Being Anthony. Big fan with the brandy new Knicks hat. Lynn Sanity was crazy last year. Do you watch basketball at all? I Last time I saw basketball was when I went to that game with you. That was a year ago. Oh, that was almost a year ago. Yeah. We were there for the beginning of Lynn Sanity. That's right. On, I a, didn't, on a fluke, by the way. I didn't watch one game since. Sat then. on a fish? 
S- sat on a fish. Wow. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Maybe that Sam here is, is here alone. Oh. Off. Do you know anything about what we were talking about? Yeah. Okay, good. Aww. Yeah, because I don't want that to be a waste of time, which obviously it was. Yeah. I'm not. St- I know that didn't go anywhere, but there's there's uh, some more bullshit going on. I'm I'm sick of the bullshit. Yeah. They're either gonna step up and do the right thing. I'll tell you what's going on. There's a lot of guys around here that don't that need raises and big raises, not the stupid tiny little thing they they give uh, these guys every once in a while. And I do believe it's the same shit. You and my- I swear to you, no one talked to me. I'm just uh, we're, we've been in this game long enough at, to where our suspicions are are raised. I, I would bet that there was some more empty promises given to you guys, like, well, you know. If, if you do more work and show Promises that you're uh, valuable, maybe... Uh... In the huh? dark. Dun, 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 dun. Are they giving out any holiday bonuses this year? <laughs> <laughs> bonuses. <laughs> ah, ah, bonuses. Ah, ah, Don't companies do that there's no companies Oh, they anymore. haven't done bonuses and Christmas parties in probably 10 years. All right, any companies? For the most part. Okay. That went away about 10 years ago. I haven't ago. heard, like, people used to talk about uh, around the holidays, like, how'd you do it? What's your bonus? Oh, yeah, it was good. They gave me, like, a week, two mm-hmm. weeks. Uh, oh, what'd you get for your bonus? And now no one even talks then, about bonuses. It's a thing of the past. And then the bonus went away, but then they snuck the really over-the-top Christmas party at you. So yeah. you're like, you're fucking kind of pissed off that you're not getting the bonus anymore. But then you have this amazing night out right. where, you know, the food is terrific, the entertainment's terrific, the drinks are terrific. Yeah, you're, you end up fucking half the fucking people you work with. <laughs> Maybe I could shoot the manager, sort of like a bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that snuck away, the, uh, the big over-the-top Christmas party. But then they give you empty promises, like you know, if you work hard, I, you know, we might, might be able to do a thing or two for you. You want yeah. my opinion on yeah, what wh- I think wh- happened? What do you think happened? Just no one take does. a guess. <laughs> There's two against you. All See, right. the, um, and I'll tell you what happens you know, to really go inside. Yeah. Then we give these guys the reason why certain things don't happen by talking about it. Mm-hmm. So that's where I, where Sam is put in a, a tough spot, and Troy. Because now they'll go to the, them and go, look, you know, you know, you got to behave more. We really don't want you talking about this on the air. It makes it really tough for us to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. So I, we actually give them the excuse, which is not cool. But anybody who knows anything about radio knows that all that inside stuff is part of the show. It's like management always gets talked about on the air. Not every day, but I mean, if they do something or they say something, it's all mm-hmm. fodder. As long as you're not giving out their personal home numbers, you're allowed to talk about it. Right. I honestly did not get a conversation. Right. But I think the Troy, you know, at the end of the year, people get assessed for raises and stuff like that. So I think probably a, a week or two ago, Troy was probably reminded of, you know, what general time period it was and that assessments get made. But, but has and he it... decided that his strategy this year is to be like, look at all I did. Oh. But has it worked out in his favor in past years? Because they probably know. get that speech every year. I don't know. What it, I would say no. When do you guys have your contract? Because ours is October. We don't right? actually have a contract, but the contract schmontract. Well, that's we're right. Just general employees, but mm-hmm. that happens around uh, February ish. And if a raise comes to About a general employee, when would it be? February ish. Okay. February. Usually. What do yeah. they do? Drag in. Give you the old, uh, so, how do you feel you did this year? <laughs> I would like that one. So, see if, see if they can get you to talk yourself out of your race. What do you think you did? All right, yeah, I sucked. Fuck it. <laughs> <Right>. Fuck it. <laughs> how do you feel you did this year? I did great. Mm. Fucking great. I hope. Gotta tell them. I hope the new guys change some things around here. It's, it's just ridiculous. New guys. You never know what the new guys could be even worse. That's the that's the strange part about that. Yeah. That's just my opinion, by the way. Troy didn't actually tell me. No, nah, it's but it's uh, you know certainly would would uh be Makes in line sense. with you know, Par for yeah. the course, as they say. Yeah. Par? Par for the course is probably what I was looking for there. You know, we've seen it over the years. We have more bits. Fish yeah, song wait. one is probably the worst. All Whether right. you play the guitar or a ute. <laughs> Is it you? Is it a, a, a lute? <laughs> I love that you play a guitar or a lute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a bad bit coming in. I think so. If I'm not fish, mis- fish, fish. Get a trout dog. Fish. 
How about clam witch? Fish, Chilean and sea bass. Fish? I hate scallops. Fish. I love a good scallop. Fish. I do not eat lobster. Fish. Tilapia is a shit eating fish. fish. I had sea bass last night. They are tasty. Uh, I can't eat tilapia anymore. I don't want a garbage fish. No, not a fan of scallops. Patagonian toothfish. Look at them. Ah. Yeah, I know I'm yummy. Ah. Chili and sea bass. That's like, oh, nice. <laughs> See what I mean? It's just about fish. Well, what's going on? Why are you guys doing so much production? It's repurposed. Troy told me, or he said he wanted to make sure that you guys realized that his focus. Yeah. This is Troy Klein. His focus is more on quantity. So they're promising you guys raises if you work harder. And is that what's going on? Troy felt and as then though something will fall through the last minute, like always. What's the, going on? The job that Troy no. and me do is to make production, and it's your job to filter through it. What's the next uh, one? Um, well, there's another fish song that's actually pretty good, and then there's a bit with Jim oh, and Cakes that's, that's not as good as the fish song. A fish song? Who sings it? Abe Vigoda? <laughs> <laughs> Fish, 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 fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. I hate scallops. I love a good scallop. I do like a good Chilean sea bass. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. Yeah, I know I'm yummy. I'll take Nixon. That's kind of good. That was a little funner. That's kind of yeah. fun. Yeah, 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 that was a little better. Fun. Yeah. It's like a commercial, though, like a Heineken commercial or something. Yeah. Right, except mm -hmm. about fish heads. Right. We're all sitting right. around right. toasting beers, yeah. watching the game with our multiracial friends. Right. Every uh, ethnic background uh, yeah. uh, on the screen. Like a yeah. Sunny D commercial. Oh, it's amazing. Mom's at a Sunny D. Oh. And you, they pan and they're all raping mom in the kitchen <laughs> with a sausage link. Any Sunny D, Mom? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. And she just smiles and opens the fridge, and it's just full of Sunny D. Yeah. It's amazing And house. she pointed the black kid, you know who stole it. <laughs> 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 and then we got this bit. Yeah. The last of the bits today. <laughs> the Sunny D was taken by the naughty N. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, my nigga, uh, you about the Twinkie shut down, son? That shit was off the chisel. Yeah, fuck. No more Twinkies, kid? No more cup chisels? Damn, yo. What kind of cakes do you like, kid? I love a good clergyman. Damn. What the fuck is that? That's a cookie filled with spinach. <laughs> Come on, son. I never heard of that. You can't even get a chirbel anymore. I used to love a good chirbel. Huh? It was wet tuna fish and dry flaky coconut. And what you'd do is you'd have you'd put a chirbel in each cheek and allow them to dissolve in your mouth. Ooh, that shit is crazy. Why the fuck would you eat that, yo? That shit ain't even dessert, son. I like the red asphalt. What the fuck is that? It's a chocolatey, delicious treat with a lot of Tabasco sauce in it. You lying, son? It's delicious. Nigga, are you on <laughs> PCP, yo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, little Jimmy, you crazy, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so who kid? Who kid and little Jimmy hanging out? <laughs> yeah, just hanging out on the street oh corner. My God. Yeah, we that inspired. Word. <laughs> so that's today's production. Yeah, damn. That's three bits. At and least you... there's quantity there. Troy Quantity is his new nickname. Troy Quantity. Troy Quantity. What did he do for the holiday? What did Roland do for the Oh, holiday? please. I saw one of his... Uh... I saw Choo Choo Train pictures. What was yeah. that about? Well, he raged. He went down to Allentown and raged in Allentown. Allentown? Yeah. yeah. There's a great song about Allentown. What song really? I've never heard of it. Yeah. I, Billy Joel, I thought it was just a song about a town oh. that made wrenches. But it's not. Oh. Oh. Uh, wrenches. Yeah. It's Troy, Troy Kwan. I saw one of Troy Kwan's um, Instagrams, and he goes, chillin'. <laughs> <laughs> on the L-E-S. Yeah. The Lower East Side. Nice. The nice. L-E-S. I like the Lower East Side. on the L-E-S, yo. Chilling. There's some shit going yeah, down. Yeah. There's it always shit cold going down. too. Yeah. So you probably were chilling a bit because yeah. it was cold. On the less. Yes, on the less. Not literal. What do you do for Turkey Day? Uh, I just went home to Pennsylvania. My, fr my family's in Allentown. Oh, they're oh, you're from there. It's yeah, clank. Yeah, born and raised downtown. Do you know that clank. song? Yeah, clank. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that song? 
Yeah, I've heard the song. <laughs> Living the here in Allen Town. Are they sick of and the town? And they're closing all the factories down. <laughs> Are they sick of the song? I mean, yes. it's actually about Bethlehem, yeah. Pennsylvania. Clank. No, it's about Allen Town. It's right in the it's song. Allen Town. Well, it's in the song, but it, he's talking about Bethlehem. That's still. Not, well, he's not no, saying anything. He's, he's talking about Allen Town. Living here in, here in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Right. And they're closing all the factories, Jim. Yeah. That didn't work. All we do is eat lettuce and spam. Does it work? <laughs> did, the, did, did the song uh, make a difference? No. Allentown's a shithole. It's a total shithole. I had to get out of there. You would think they would get their shit together after this song. No, I think it got worse. Downtown Allentown's a fucking mess. Is it really? Yeah, it's bad. What do you got downtown? Nothing. What kind of people? I mean, it's like I, a think, ghost I, think you, I think you know how to answer that question. Uh, no, it's, it's, not a, it's not a ghost town. I mean, there's people that... What they, basically, what happens is all the people from New York City, rent gets too high, and then they move out to Allentown and just make babies. Wow. That's How far is up. Allentown that you could go live out there? About two hours. Is there nice sections of Allentown? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's beautiful sections. I mean, Dorney Park's out in Allentown. Oh. Mm. You ever been out there? That's nice. <laughs> Dorney Park? An amusement park, right? Yeah. yeah what? That must be great, waiting online while fucking savages try to cut you. Well, some, some days it's like good. flags. Yeah, cut you in line and literally cut oh, you. Oh, I was trying they to try that both. Out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so why don't you get mom and dad out of Allentown? They're fine. They're good. Amusement yeah. parks have just been destroyed, by the way, across the country. By There's what? no fucking... A horrid element in this country. Oh, you it, cannot go to an amusement park and not have some kind of fucking problem. Because they amazing. bust them in. That's why. Whatever they're doing. It should be a place of amusement. Uh, it's a to, park. I go to amusement parks and don't have problems. I have a good time. Well, you're half. They stink. I, mean, I hate amusement parks. <laughs> they're half white. Oh, you well, child. What I'm talking about. Well, until they see your face, they think you're, you know... I go to Six Flags. one of them. Disney, because you got the Disney's hair. different. Disney, yeah. Disney, you don't it's have to worry about anything. Place happiest yeah. place on earth. Six Flags is fun. They got Six great roller Flags. Get the Flags. fuck out of here. I'm with Ed on that one. That place used to scare the shit Six out of Flags. Me. Just to fucking stand online, just have people cutting you and all loud. Do they cut? I went on it right on the gym. <laughs> get up here. Get up here. I'm up here. And then 50 people come in front of him. They he, cut. Oh, they cut like crazy. Is there anybody objecting? Uh, no. <laughs> you object. You get fucking. Punched in the fucking face. Wait, you can't say excuse me, sir. Side of the head. I oh, excuse me, sir. I was here first. You can't. Say that's that. how you get cut. Yeah, that's how you get the other kind of cut. Right. You get the blind side punch to the side of the head is what you'll get. Do you don't like roller coasters? Uh, well, you know what? No, uh, I don't like the lines to get to the roller coaster. If I was able to just go right up to the roller coaster and hop in, I'd go. Yeah. yeah. Went to Hershey Park last summer. That's it was appropriate. Awesome. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, I exactly. took that highway to get there, too, yeah. didn't you? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like Peter funny. Pumper. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's that's, the, that's when you went to uh, Shady Maple, right? That's right. I went to Shady Maple this weekend. Shady what is Maple? Shady Maple? It's the shit. Shady Maple is the shit in Pennsylvania if you're out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. What are you doing? Shady it's Maple. A, it's an Amish smorgasbord. Amish? But not, but like, not like tourist are Amish. No. Like... Actual Amish people run it, and it's all it's all organic what? Uh, vegetables. It's... Everything's organic from the what? Amish farm. Organic. Like shit. No, no way, dude! It's great. It's horrible. Is it organic? organic is nonsense. No, <laughs> it's just like a big all-you-can-eat buffet. It's like a How trucker much? buffet. So what? You eat corn and shit? No, I had steak. I they had. They don't eat steak. It's Everything you could imagine. It's a tr it's a big trucker location. No. It's not a. No. What year? Like what days do they do it? Every day. Every day. No, oh. they don't. That's it's, their gig. It's like huge. Fourteen dollars for dinner. And you just go in and stay all day if you want. I haven't been to Lancaster in years. Yeah. Why would you go? Or no you could reason. pay a little less and opt out of the fish, which is what I did. <laughs> did you say fish? Why? Oh, you didn't want it. I didn't want any fish. How much without the fish? How, how, uh, I think it's a good thing. It's like $3 off. If wait, you that's fish. pretty righteous. Did, righteous right did they have yeah. good mash? Everything. Mash oh. was sick. <laughs> the mash was sick. The stuffing. Sick. David the mash delicious, was sick. Delicious cakes for uh, dessert. Nice. Give me a little I more mind mash. <laughs> you should check it out. I want to go there. You, you should, should have never said that. I to know. Me. It's all about the mash. And they have a the huge mash. gift shop, too. I have a oh, Shady Maples hoodie. Would you get a wooden fucking lamp or a wooden fucking little truck toy or a, a wooden fucking action figure? Of course. What'd not. you get? I got a sweatshirt that said Shady Maples. Made out of wood? On it. That's no, it's a wooden sweatshirt. Out. Obviously not. <laughs> Everything's made of wood over there at the Amish. That's ridiculous. This fascination with wood. That's it's a metal. It's insanity. Are the it's... fucking are all the games on the TVs uh, yeah. up there? When you go eat? Yeah. Do they have TVs? No, I don't think they have yeah. TVs. Can you get like TVs? Do they have like little cakes that like schoolhouses? <laughs> <laughs> they got lights though. Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Just a tasteless joke. And then when you're out there in Lancaster, you got to ride the railroad. It's what I did this weekend on the old steam locomotive at Strasburg Railroad. I yeah, all the live long day. 
It's great. It's cool. <laughs> Where do you go though? In a big dump circle. I saw the choo choo. No, you just go down and they come back. But they have like. The, where all do these, you go? You got to go somewhere on a train. <laughs> you just get to ride the train, and Santa's on the train. Finally <laughs> 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 gave it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> like you go on a train, it just goes over there and then comes back. What's uh, what's over there? Though? Sometimes the journey is the location. What, what's over there? Well, you just get to ride in old railroad cars, Rainbow and then Bowl. Santa's on the train, and Santa. Uh, yeah, and you hang out, and then you you look at all the big old Colin Ferguson was on the train. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old timey train, right? Yeah, like an old I, steam locomotive. Yeah, isn't yeah. Santa busy this time of year? Yeah. Nope, he's on the train, oh. and it really works. They didn't fucking retrofit it with nope. some kind of shitty motors. It's, it's awesome. It's really fucking steam. Yeah, That's and they have a bunch of them too. Badass. And they have the railroad museum right across the street. They have all these old locomotives in there. It's great. What's great about the railroad museum? You can just get to see. It's just amazing to see what uh, how can you trains. Can them? Old tra- oh yeah. Can yeah. you paint them? You can't paint. Can them. you sit? Can you sit in the? Can you bring on a little engineer's hat and sit in the front and go choo choo <laughs> really loud? <laughs> sure. Uh, That's a lot of fun. That. I don't know why you would. You guys like the bits? I turned in some bits. They're good. I like yeah. the fish. Yes. Bits. Okay. Like why are you? Fish. Why are you turning all? Uh, turning in all these bits? What? What did they tell you? Well, why do they have to tell me anything? Why can't I just come in here and just be excited? You're a mustache? <laughs> nah, I just... I haven't shaved. I think you're growing a mustache. Hey, how's Sal's mustache yeah. coming in? Yeah, Sal? Sal? How's that mustache? Yeah, it should be a beard, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sal? That mustache. I saw him earlier today. How's the mustache? Apparently, he doesn't grow very quickly, because that upper lip is clean. Even after we scolded him for not growing the mustache, you would think we at that point him. he would grow the mustache. And and then, this kid's amazing. And then we said, don't bother growing it now. And instead of being like, you know what, just to prove right. I'm going to grow it anyway. Then he, he didn't was, bother. He was like, oh, okay, I won't then. He's not going to grow it. He's about a piece of shit. He is about that. Yeah. He was. Uh, we had a discussion on Sal. Who did? I, 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 he was the example of how shitty his generation is. <laughs> 